Today, I'm going to show you some amazing life hacks which are perfect for summer. You can cool yourself down by making a nice frozen yoghurt snack, and we're going to use teaspoons for handles. Use a knife to make a small slit in the centre of a yoghurt pot. Then push through a teaspoon. The lid will help to keep it centralised and upright. Do the same with the other pots. And carefully place them in the freezer. The following day they'll be frozen solid and ready to eat. Just snap one off and peel off the lid. And you can put the rest back in the freezer for later. You can experiment with different flavours. And if you like, you can use sticks instead of teaspoons. I'm using these to make some mini ones. If you find your frozen lolly, or popsicle, starts melting before you finish it, which often happens with small children, you can take a cupcake paper, make a small slice in the bottom, and slide it over the stick to act as a drip tray and help stop those sticky fingers. And you can, of course, use them with the frozen yoghurts we made earlier, too. You can also thread a straw through a cupcake paper and use it to stop any flies or wasps getting into your drink. And if you like to try something a bit different, you can serve up drinks in nice glass bottles like this. To keep your drink cold, you can take a Ziploc freezer bag and fill it with fruit. Remove any stalks first and you can use a variety of different fruits. When you're done, zip up the bag and pop it in the freezer. Next time you want a cold drink, take your frozen fruit and drop a few pieces into your drink. Unlike ice, these won't melt and dilute your drink. Instead, they'll slowly thaw and add more flavour. Pretty cool, huh? And if you're drinking white wine, Cool it down with frozen white grapes. If you want to cool down a whole bottle quickly, take a couple of sheets of kitchen paper and wrap it around the bottle. Give it a quick soak under the tap and squeeze off any excess moisture. Then put the bottle in the freezer and after about 15 minutes it should be really nice and cold. If you're having a picnic with your cat and fancy having a few beers, buy some ice cubes at the same time and you can make your own DIY cool box. Open up the box and remove all the beers. Use your carrier bag to line the box and replace all the bottles. Then open up your ice and tip it into the box to cover over all the beers. This will keep your drinks cold for a nice long time, and if you've done anything wrong, I'm sure your cat will let you know. If you want to water your plants, but haven't got a watering can, you can take an empty milk bottle, remove the lid, and use a pin to pierce a series of holes in the cap. Fill it up with water, and there you have a really simple DIY watering can. If you're playing with water balloons, but find it a bit annoying having to fill them up at the tap all the time, 
Maybe you haven't got a tap with the right nozzle, or maybe you're going to the park and won't have access to a tap at all. You can take a soap bottle, like this, and fill it with water. And we can fill balloons up with a pump on top. Slide a balloon over the spout. Hold it on with one hand and pump it full of water with the other. When it's full, you can tie it off with a knot and do another balloon straight away. It does take quite a few pumps, but it does mean you don't have to keep going back to the tap. And people with smaller hands may find it easier to pull a balloon over a spout like this instead of the larger nozzle on a tap. This bottle allowed me to fill up four balloons before running out of water. And when it's empty, if you like, you can fill it back up from a plastic bottle or jug so you can stay where you are and defend your base. If you want loads of water balloons really quickly, you could get yourself a pack of these Buncho balloons. They're pretty easy to use. They just attach to a hose pipe. And you fill up about 35 at a time. And they reckon you can do about 100 balloons in a minute. They automatically tie themselves. And they're great for a water fight. Try and pick up all your rubbish at the end, but the balloons and o-rings are biodegradable. And you can recycle this part. If you're going out and about, maybe to the beach, and you want to conceal some money, you can stash it in an empty lip salve tube. Fold up your money, and roll it up nice and tight. Slide it down into the tube, and put the lid back on. And if you need some money later, just twist the bottom and it'll pop right out. If you want to stash more things like a credit card, some money, maybe some keys and a mobile phone, you can hide them in an empty pack of baby wipes. Once you've closed the lid, no one would ever know. And if you keep it next to other packets, it'll look even more discreet. It's nice and easy to access your items. And if you wanted to, you could even hide your wallet inside. Alternatively, you can take an old sunscreen bottle and turn that into a secret stash box. And you'll be surprised at how much stuff you can fit inside. If you're worried about getting sand in your phone when you go to the beach, you can place it inside a Ziploc bag. Do up the zip, and you should find your phone still works perfectly well through the bag. And if you want to watch something on your mobile phone, you can use your sunglasses as a makeshift stand. If you're having a barbecue, but haven't got any fire lighters to get it going, you can use some Doritos. Clear a space, and put a small pile in the middle. Then take a match and light them up. They burn really well, and once you've got them lit, you can start building up charcoal around.
and it doesn't take long for it to really get going. If you haven't got any Doritos, you can use cotton wool and Vaseline. Take some cotton wool and cover it in Vaseline. This is nice and slow burning, so it works really well to start barbecues. Place it in the charcoal, light it up and start building the coal up around it again. It works really well and it's perfect in an emergency if you're struggling to get it started. A muffin tray is a great way to serve sauces and dips at your barbecue. And you can even add small salad pieces for your burgers like cucumbers and tomatoes. It makes it easier than carrying all your sauce bottles outside individually. And it's an attractive way to display your dips. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see how to barbecue a pizza or how to make a makeshift barbecue out of a tin can, you can click on the links on the right hand side or take a look at my YouTube channel page. Stay safe, have fun and as always, thanks for watching.